Hey everyone, Soundwave84, and welcome to another third party upgrade kit review video. In this review, I'll take a look at Non F Productions upgrades for your Earthrise Optimus Prime trailer. So, I got the upgrades here from um, Non F, and we got Earthrise Optimus Prime's trailer. Now, this is the one thing when I got Earthrise Optimus Prime, I was disappointed in the trailer. It feels almost like an afterthought. Like, hey, we got my trailer. Stick it in there, it's good enough, good to go. I just figure like, I just feel like this is not done, it's not executed well. Even with upgrades, it's still not gonna be perfect because you really can't shove any deluxe cars inside this thing. So the whole point of him being a transport, you kind of lose out on that. But with non Productions, we do get a roller we can put in here. And it comes with a new door system because I really did not like this door system. To open this back, you have to pull it apart a little bit so the little tabs come free to open it up. So I, I wasn't a big fan of that, but we get a whole new door kit. Also, we have this little rinky dinky uh, support struts are down here. Uh, you get the one sort of like old school G1 that came out to the sides. So we got some of that coming from non F right here. And plus, we also get things from non F, like I said, to make the roller. Put the little consoles and stuff inside of this and to add little upgrade pieces to uh, the drone right here the, the battle drone or whatever piece that would be actually called also it comes with a new bumper which will feature some actual lights so we got a lot of stuff to actually put together it's all inside of this little envelope so we'll just dump it all out on our review space it's empty go to the side there is the frame for a roller. Uh, the pieces to put together to form your roller. Now roller came, a lot of these things came in multiple colors. You either get in blue or gray. That's because in the original G1, there were multiple colors. And also uh, the cartoon also had gray, I believe. Whereas the toy, he's more blue. Uh, and this little bag back here, you see you get the new door and bumper. Uh, the tail lights for the bumper. Uh, pieces here for the extra uh, supports you get fuel tanks little gas can stuff uh, there's missiles that add to the drone there's the tires right there for your roller right to the side uh, this is actually little pieces I chose blue I think you could choose gray as well for these extra pieces that go on the side of the trailer these are actually go over here to add some more flair to it and for the piece that comes out support it and these are the consoles that go inside of uh, the trailer that would mimic the original G1 that had the consoles inside. So let's get to building. First, we're gonna start with roller. All right, so we got the pieces for roller all laid out. We're gonna make our roller cart or whatever. Uh, you have to remove uh, the this off the little sprues. All it does is go inside the little hole. You just take it and you just push it in. There you, go. you just push it on in. And that's ready for the back half of the little light he'll have on his back. So we'll take the frame of roller and take the little middle seat piece. There's two peg holes, two pegs down here. And you just want to do is line it up and you want to push that in together. Okay, now with that piece in. Alright, so then you take this piece here. The little end here that has a little, a little front of it looks like a car. And this would be the back. The bigger holes down here will be the holes for the... Uh, tires so just push this on and a little peg here will go right in the little hole here we'll just push that all on there you go and the little peg will come through here we got that going now we'll take the front piece here and you see where there's a peg hole peg we'll just line that up here Push it in. We want to move, maneuver that down. And we'll line it to be the front of roller. Take the back piece with the light. This will just be the top. And you want to this be your back end. It goes around. And you want to push this one into this piece. Like so. So you can get your rollers coming together. You can take the other end and you want to just now match this one up and then peg all these pegs together. Just try to apply force where the pegs are. 
Don't be pushing on in the middle, just in case. You know. Okay, with that part done, I'm gonna take all your tires. You can see there's two sides. There's this side and there's this side. This is gonna be the inside. This is gonna be your outside. So just look for this, and that's what you're going to see on the outside. And you just want to snap them over this right here. And don't go crazy with it. Just be be gentle with it, like a loving child. And one more, and voila, we are now done with. And the roller. cool thing about roller here is that you actually can stick four Titan Masters inside of it, and they can ride inside of roller really good so there is roller done now let's work on the actual trailer part all right so let's look inside of this trailer and start working in here first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and remove this back piece because we're not going to need that so we just want to pop that off pops off very easily just snaps right on so that to the side and then we'll put the new door and everything on there in just a moment so let's put this down all right so here are the consoles very much like g1 and we'll just take a look at the G1 trailer. Ah, yes, G1. So that's, they have this one on this side and that one on that side. So let's see if we can do that correspondingly with this trailer. So this got a double peg hole. So we'll just stick that in here. Then I'll take this one. It's not going to be just like G1 because the G1 has it really close on that side. Uh, there's no corresponding peg over here, so we're going to have to actually put this over here. Pushing in. Now, you can put them anywhere. Uh, I was just trying to go by the way my G1 had it, and that's about as close as I'm going right, so to get. Now, we'll work on the pieces that will go on the side of the trailer. So, we'll fold this up. Uh, it just feels so cheap with the plastic. And well, these are just going to then peg in on the sides of the vehicle to give it a little bit more of a G1-ish look. All right, so I got one side done already. So what you're going to have to do to get these pieces on is these two little screws here. Take a little screwdriver. And you just want to loosen those a little bit because one of the parts of the pieces to snatch in, to snatch in, to uh, kind of clamp in there, it's got to have a gap to go. So you just want to unscrew these a little bit. And try to work this where you have a gap so when you put this piece on this little big long piece here is going to slide right into that and these two little pieces here are just going to go right up in there so you just got to line all that up just pops in and then tighten your screws back but you don't want to over tighten anything because you don't want you just don't want these to be loose you want to be flush with the blue piece and the blue piece be flush with this dark gray piece down here so I might not even have to really tighten that back too much I mean as long as the wheels and stuff are level with it I think I've tightened that one that's a tad bit too much we want to loosen that one just a little bit you don't want it all curved in and those pieces are now applied on the side so next you want to work on the extra supports when you open up the actual uh, trailer. So you want to take these pieces here. This would be your outside. This is going to be your inside. So you want to take these little feet and then you want to put this little tab. It goes through that. You want the hollow side to go up and over this. So I just want to cut on like that. And you take the other one. Find the tab, not the peg. And you want to do the same thing on that. And then you take to the bottom little pegs you want to peg it in same on the other side peg it in and they're done so now these can swing out like this so when you open up your trailer you have some support for them to sit on just like g1 had very cool all right so now we're going to work on the bumper piece now these came off the sprues these would be the tail lights for this you can see there's two little pegs peg holes so we're just going to jam these suckers right on in there to uh, make the tail lights one side 
and do the other side. Now you get those pegged in, I'm going to come to the back part here. Let's go ahead and close this up so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. And this is just going to hook onto this. You see the little bumper piece? It's got these little slopes. You see it? It's got these cutouts. I'll go over that. See these little peg holes? The little tab pieces here are going to peg into are going to tab into that. So we're just going to line everything up. Like so, there we go. Now we got that part going. So open this sucker up. Now we're gonna put it on the back door. So this way to the one off a little piece here. Just going to snap around all that. So we're just going to pop that back on. Pop on your new one. Yeah, man. There we go. And then we lower that down. It's not an exact match. This is more of a closer to probably the G1 color than this is. But there's that door now. Oh, let's put your supports out. Now you can have a roller. Come on down, Optimus Prime. Now pieces for your little drone. Let's bring this up. Now he has these little arms already on him. But they give you... Yeah, this... Non-F, I'm going to ask you to make a new piece for this, because this piece here sucks. It's so, it just won't, you know, it, it's crap. I'm trying to deal with this, and it's just collapsing. Yeah, you got these pieces here. They have these little pegs on them. They'll just go into the hands that are provided, so you just peg that in. So his hand. So then he has his big tool there. Take this one here for like the little radar. Peg it through the hand. And just keep that one to the back. And it'd be like the little radar and the speed you're a little working on. So this gives you an extra little hinge. So it's a lot longer. And you actually can do more and reach better. You also get missiles. So you go right into these little holes here. We'll just fold that piece up. And we'll just stick the missiles. And again, non-F uh, or anybody. Can you please make a new support thing for this? Because this thing just likes to collapse. I am if I angle those back so kind of support back see this, this piece of what a piece of junk the fuel canister fuel hose thing so what i'm gonna do is take one of these little round things you get two of these one for each end we're gonna put that over that and then we're going to take what the fuel canister thing would be and we're going to build that put the little hose inside of that get that one in there and put the other one over it we'll pinch that in forms a little peg get this piece to go back to that and it's going to peg around that and it'll just sort of help lock that all into place and it seems like my little shoelace piece is already tearing up hmm. well, that's not cool now we'll do the back end uh, you got this piece here and you got this piece here and there is a tab and it's going to go through this little hole and of course, first thing I'm gonna do is put this little piece on. I might have in it trimming my little hose and then redoing all that there. So we'll put this piece here. Put that in. You see there's little indentions here for the uh, rope. You wanna make sure the peg hole spot is clear. Let's get the other one. Peg it together, slip that over it, slip that over it, push it, and there you go. Now this is all locked in, so that I feel like it's going to tear. But then you got this little peg, and you'll just peg that into one of your mini pegs available inside your Optimus Prime trailer. And then you have this, and then you got another peg here, so where you can, you know, when you're not using it, it could then be pegged into the other side. Hold it, man. that so then you get that piece there the more piece remaining 
All we gotta do now is close up the trailer. So to actually get this all to close in and keep every piece in here, you wanna take the little drone guy and you want to spin him around. Then you want to collapse this down. And then you put roller here in the middle and just fold it up like normal. And then it'll all close up. Close up your back door. Like this, push these in. Piece of crap from Hasbro right there, the little piece there. Now, all you gotta do now is put on this extra little hitch, and it's going to actually help elongate this from the uh, cab so it can actually turn better. So, you want this piece to be down, the peg facing down. Peg, peg hole, of course, and just push this on. And then get your Optimus Prime. And with Optimus Prime, little peg hole just for your peg. Peg it on in, and there you go. He now has his trailer. And it looks a whole lot better just looking at it from all angles, even from the back. That is a gorgeous look. It looks more quality. Now, the plastic quality on the actual trailer is weak. You saw when I was putting stuff in, how it wanted to bend and flex. Whereas the plastic quality from the stuff from Nana feels so much better. It actually feels like better quality than what we have from Hasbro for the actual trailer. Uh, just, I just kind of wish of quality of all. That's all. The trailer... My opinion overall should have been a little bit bigger and able to fit deluxe cars in here we can't do that but with the hitch you can turn the vehicle so he has plenty of room to spin and spin around overall i say it is a massive improvement with these upgrades from non-f so we'll do a quick comparison here with this. and here's the g1 yeah my, i need to I need to get on some dust from this guy. He was hidden in a little room. I mean, they look good. This now more resembles this. Uh, it's already always had the molded details of what this had. But now with this door the, for the ramp, it now mimics that more closely. I, I do like that a lot. And here is a back view, which isn't very impressive to say the least. It's just gray stuff. At least none of gives you some nice tail lights. Where the G1 didn't have that, but really back then, G1, it gave you better quality overall on the actual plastic and stuff. And now you're able to open the doors up. Uh, my roller is actually right here, carrying the Titan Masters. We'll just stick them on in there. But most of us are evil. Ah, that's all right. We can still carry y'all somewhere. There we go. Very cool stuff. I'm very glad I got this upgrade kit from Nonf. It is not expensive at all. It's like 25 bucks. I'll have a link to their site down in the description below. And let's know if you liked anything in this video. Don't forget to click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And thanks for watching. Until the next reviews. Peace out.